Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by and welcome to Reminiscence. This is a very quick game on Steam. Uh, as the world collapses into anarchy, you set out to explore the house you left behind in search of your missing family. Following your recent discoveries, you have mastered time and intend to use it to find the cause of your loved one's disappearance. You explore your old home, a typical American household from the 1950s, and also discover the alternate, altered and corrupted version of it. Mm. So, as you travel be between these two eras, you will have to figure out what has happened and solve the mystery that surrounds your home. Yet in the midst of these two very oppressive universes, you sense that your experiments have lured a rather unusual guest. Okay. So, Reminiscence is a psychological horror narrative game for one player, made on Unity. In this game, you will progress through dual time puzzles to hopefully sort the truth out in your confused memories. So, I do believe it is quite a quick one. So, we should wrap this up very quickly in certainly one sitting. So, let's have a look what it's all about. So, let's uh, jump on into Reminiscence. Strap yourself in and hope you enjoy. See you on in there. Maybe this time. Hmm. What's happening with that? Ooh. Don't think I've got any flashlight at the moment, have I? No. I've got to find them, and I haven't much time. It's all changed. Oh, hello. No, it's locked. Mankind's greatest discovery, or mankind's greatest mass. A supplemental man claims to discover the secret of time travel when the scientific community is baffled with. Mankind's greatest discovery, or mankind's greatest farce. A supplemental man claims to discover the secret of time travel when the scientific community is baffled with. Is it a bit like a PT sort of thing? Mankind's greatest discovery, or mankind's greatest farce. A supplemental man claims to discover the secret of time travel when the scientific community it's is baffled with. It's been so long. Do we need to look at all these pictures? I'm not sure. I just think it's just something secret hidden behind one of them. Uh, so if someone went in that corridor, that door down the end there. It's locked. Oh, this one's open. What have we got in here then? Contrary controversy surrounding Shasta Dam. Hmm. Let's look. Popular science, science. So someone's really into science. Oh, we can't fit through there. Look, Ooh. we got a jump. No. Now we got a little jukebox. Interact. Yeah. Ah. Ah. It's like we rewound time. <laughs> hmm. Okay. That's uh that's a bit weird. Let's have a look around here first. Sorry, I can't read that. Doctor, you must understand that when 
presented with such a claim, we openly have our doubts about its legitimacy. I normally wouldn't ever bother re responding to something so far-fetched as this, but your estimations, uh, unlikely as it may be, have some legitimacy, legitimacy to them. I would recommend not speaking to the... What's that? To the peop something first. This really does work. This will change the world as we know it, and I can't guarantee you it will be for the best. Steve Evans, head of CFU Physics Department. So, well, look, it's a typewriter. Looks like it's a save point for Resident Evil. Uh, so, we're we playing a scientist or something, are we? So, I guess we go in that secret room. So, so there isn't there isn't a run function. You just have to plod along. So I guess we go down here after eliminating everything else. What is something? Seven up. So you gotta right. Oh, we reinstalled the grandfather clock. Now it's all all uh, right. So we've gone back and forth between time then. So now we're in the current time. Maybe I should try the clock at the lobby again. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> What's that? Someone laughing? Oh yes, this looks all very ruined now, isn't it? Why is that stuck on the on the wall like that? Oh look, I've got to go back to that lobby, find that old clock. Oh, oh what was that? Someone was standing there. This won't work without a pendulum. It's got to be around here somewhere. Pendulum. So gotta find the pendulum for the clock. So it's gotta be in another room then, I guess. Pentagon R&D accused of high treason. Police are still on the lookout for a 32-year-old woman and a 4-year-old child who have gone missing this week in the surroundings of Sacramento later. Police are still on the lookout for a 32-year-old... My fault. It was all my fault. The date is January 6, 1958. American physicist, new invention took the world by storm today. Experts say the world shall never be the same. All right. <laughs> Maybe we go with this one. It's frozen solid. There's got to be a way to get that out. Huh. 
uh, writing this in the hope that it reaches your eyes only. We need to discuss the side effect of this technology ASAP. The rest of the research team is beyond apathetic to studying the subject further. There is a dis direct connection between the stories in Southeast Asia and our experiments of that I am certain. The, sto the storer's growth coincides with our use of the technology. Most Im more importantly, I'm aware of what happened during the experiment of what lied in between. We really must discuss your experience then to gauge your sanity and your commitment to this project because, to be completely honest, you have been acting very strange since that encounter. What do you mean it promised you something? Urgently, Jim Dagwood's Pentagon Research and Development. So we gotta, have we gotta go back in the different times. Maybe I don't know. Oh, look at that clown. The date is January 6, That's weird. Do I, uh, can I interrupt with the clock again? I don't know. Right, can I go back up now and go in that bath? No. Ah, oh, hold on. History has been made today as the Pentagon R&D Department confirms they've sent a man back in time and successfully returned him to our time <laughs> completely unscathed. Experts say the applications of such technology are limitless and its benefits are calculable to... Right. So, plugs off. Right. So if the plug's off, if I now go back again. Oh shh. Right. Can I go back down here? Interact with the clock again? And should be able to. I guess go back in that room and pick up I think it's the pendulum is it? Hmm. Right. Hold on, is that right? That's different, isn't it? Huh? Oh, is, is that is that you? The rooms have changed. Where is this room corkscrewing into something? Huh? <laughs> ah, got the red light. Never a good sign. Please help. Get out, get out. Right, okay. <laughs> hmm. Ah. A pendulum? Are any of my clocks missing pieces? That was a weird way to get to it. <laughs> Right.
Is... Is that a tape in that cuckoo's mouth? <laughs> tape. Ah, right. Tape player. Just have to click on it. <laughs> Are you happy, honey? On one breath it is the man. The new TV that he brought us. Walk not in this council of being wicked, nor... Now we can watch TV together in Daddy's and Mommy's room. Stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of scoffers. Okay. Guess we go through there. <laughs> <laughs> so how can you describe your journey back through time? The, um, more of the details are blurry, but it's a jump itself, like in most of your call. The jump? Yes, a jump through a space between time. A sort of violet blue space dotted with bright white moats. And you weren't alone. Hmm. What's going on there? What are you playing at? So how can you describe your journey back through Storm time? Storm spreads across Indian Ocean. Contact loss with multiple nations. The Daily News. Jump from a space between time. A sort of violet blue space dotted with bright white moats. And they weren't alone. I don't remember the code. Maybe she said it to something she saw on TV. Jump. And it sounded like it most of your call. The jump. Yes, a jump through a space between time. A sort of violet blue space dotted with bright white moats. And you weren't alone. Details are blurry, but it's the jump in itself that get most of your call. The jump? Yes, the jump through a space between time. A sort of violet space dotted with bright white moats. Yes, sir. Anywhere alone. So, how can you describe? Later this week, the Time Machine's inventor releases a new book titled The End of Regret, in which he claims that, with his invention, none shall ever feel regret again. But why regret something? Or is there a clue to the code?
this damn it I don't have time for this I've got to go back uh -huh. late What's that? Five? Is that supposed to be numbers? What's that? Four? I can't read that. It's too quick. And I have to change the time again. Is that room not going to be there? Seven eight four two one three seven eight four two one three seven eight four two one. Remember that, okay? Three seven eight four two one. down here interact with that three seven eight four two one 
Right. Where is it? Through here? Yeah, there we are. Three seven eight Hold four two one. So it's written down there now. Safe. <laughs> I didn't write that on there. Oh, it's a record, is it? So how can you describe your journey back through time? You... Ooh. All quiet on the eastern coast. Freak storm situation under control. Officials confirm time traveller. No not no unrelated so we just whipped back again to the current time what happened to her pictures why am i alone well, they've been blotted out Where are all these screwdrivers, is it, in the wall? What's going on there? Oh. A door, any door. Late, late. It can't be too late. It can't be. Made some contact with our extraterrestrial species, have you? You know, it was hallucination, memory loss stories you heard in the papers. Yes, and I suspect that sort of claim to be a product of it. not hallucinations, very real. And whatever contacted us in that space was very real. clocks downstairs we go the song that's it that's the song what what happened I was supposed to remember I was it was supposed to be over. Was... Was that always here? Don't think so. No, it... It couldn't be. Hope I have given you. Return and delay the inevitable. 
it matters not. Soon enough, there will remain none but me. Oh, hello. Who might you be? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Too late. Too late. So, yeah, it was okay. Just a little bit of, uh, sort of, um, walkthrough, really, isn't it? Well, well like a, a walkthrough experience rather than a game. We just uh, have to find, click where you got to do next, and this in choice between shifting between the current time timelines to interact with something, and uh, that makes it happen, and you have to switch back. It's quite simple, uh, easily to follow, I guess, so... Yeah, it's fine. I, I, I liked it. Just a little bit of a uh, bit of fun. So um, hope you enjoyed and uh, see you on the next one. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, please like and subscribe to my channel. It all helps. Helps me build up my channel and uh, see you on the next review.